Hello everybody, this is Jay Sims Plays and today I'm going to talk to you about the Dance to Remember quest. So, of course, when you get the quest, it's the usual, you know, you've got to go around town dancing and meeting the dance partners and stuff like that and just doing different things. You have uh, seven days to do it. And a lot of these are like um, time quests, so you have you know you have to do it within seven days, otherwise you don't get the main prize. So well, I did. I obviously, admittedly, I use LP points to do some of the things, um, and then you get a bunch of rugs finally. So here are the different rugs that you get. So when you complete the quest, you actually gain access to eight rugs, new rugs, and a break dancing mat as well. Um, so here are the different ones and. They're different sizes, so the yellow dots indicate how big the actual thing is. And here's another one. And they cost uh, different amounts of SP. So obviously I've not bought all of them. And then you also have access to the salsa hobby. So then you have to get your sims, oh you get a jukebox and then you have to uh, get your sims to dance. So how that works is, let me show you, you would get one person, you click the uh, jukebox and you get them to wait for a dance partner for five hours, well they're not waiting for, for five hours but they just wait. And then the other person has the option to either do a quick salsa with them or an extended one for seven hours, so that's good to like um, bump up your, you know, your increase your uh, knowledge, obviously on the subject. But they can just do a quick salsa, and so then your sim comes along, gets changed into this nice red outfit, and you can actually have at least two couples doing this at the same time. So because you have to do this again within seven days to get the prize, um, and you have. To to be able to get 12, I think 12 um, medals, so to be able to get the final prize, yeah you have to get 12 um, medals to actually get the final prize which I've already actually completed so that's why it's on 5 LP, but um, yeah so get two couples doing that at the same time that way you can actually f f do it quickly and you have to do it within seven days and then once you do that within seven days, let's let's see, let's show you how they finish up. So that's them, and then they just win. Of course, like any hobby, they win a prize, and then once that's unlocked after seven days, well hopefully you do it within seven days you have the uh, you win the option to be able to buy um, a villa so if you want to buy the villa it's in the uh, pre-designed houses and it's a Latin villa and it costs 175 SP again SP and takes three days so that's what I did and I built mine on the island And there is a little bit of a difference compared to if you bu uh, built it on a premium lot to if you built it on a just a standard lot. I think from what I've heard, you just don't get a bigger pool or you don't get a pool. But and I wanted mine on a premium lot, so here is the house. Let's just see. Let's start at the beginning. So there's the front door, and there's a tiny little sort of reception area with flowers, and it's got lots of. Uh, Patterns, very clashing patterns on the floor, and some chairs. And then here's the open plan kitchen. Some dining chairs. It's very uh, Mediterranean feel. And all the chairs. And uh, but then he's got a fireplace as well. A sort of Spanish feel, I think. And uh, here it's got a little tiny bathroom. 
I mean, most people just want to add a shower in just for ease, just because it takes it's quicker than a bath, but it's nice. Then we've got a small um, desk and computer area with the books. Then it's one bedroom. Of course, with all these other pre-designed places, it's normally only just one bedroom. It's got these nice painting with dancers on the wall. And here over to this side. This is like the dance studio, which you had to go into when you were doing the quest as well. And uh, here's my two sets of dancers. And depending on who you get first, the first person to um, go and wait for the dancer is the person then has to go and dip the other person so yeah sometimes as you can see you'll have the man dipping the woman or the woman dipping the man just depends on who you actually pick to wait first so that's them there and then outside it's got a major clash of pool uh, designs so it's got this bar and then it's got all the rugs as well and then chairs which you can hardly see because they <laughs> clash in with the pattern more chairs 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 look at this nice and even the pool has got patterns on it and then some flowers and then you've got this separate little sitting room area as well it might be handy if you needed like all your sims to like sleep at some point, just quickly get them to doze on the chairs. Some palm trees and some fountains as well. Some benches. So there's quite a lot of seating area for your sims. So yeah, that's what you win for then. And then lastly, that if when you finish the salsa uh, level, it unlocks the uh, DJ, no, it unlocks the break dancing a hobby for the teenagers. So let's go back to that. And this one, I thought you actually had to buy uh, the break dancing map, but I don't think you have to, to be honest. So the things that you need at the moment can be found in the furniture tab and the featured uh, part. And you need one salsa jukebox and you need a break dancing boom box. So for your teenager, so then they just come there and do a bit of break dancing. So he's up to skill. So he's won an award, and yet yeah, he has. Let's go back to him. He has. Yeah, again, it unlocks the break dancing hobby, which here it says if you unlock it in seven days, uh, this home DJ booth becomes a perfect sim uh, gift for your sim. So hopefully in seven days. I didn't obviously unlock that yet because I've literally started it yesterday. So maybe next week, I'm sure in the videos you'll see I would have won the breakdown. We would have won the um, DJ booth, but that will be next week, I'm sure. And um, so yeah, here again is another 12 one. So I think you can probably. Well, I'm gonna try and get um, at least two Sims doing it. Okay, so I was just trying it out. You can't actually get two of your teenagers to be able to do the thing at the same time. Maybe if it said one uh, boombox per household, so maybe if you put another boombox in another house, then you'd be able to do two teenagers at the same time. But in the meanwhile, you can cheer on your teen. So let me try and see if I can uh, move, well, put another boombox in another house see if that works no you can't because it says it's a limited ob object so basically you're gonna have to either spend LP points or get your teenager doing it a lot <laughs> so anyway I hope you've liked this video if you have please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week